Hello and welcome. This is video, I believe, 14 in a series on using the Eureka Doom Editor to create Doom maps, Doom levels. Uh, it's a great little editor and um, again, this is part of a series. Be sure to check out the link in the description of this video for the full series. You probably want to watch the previous videos before jumping in here. Uh, and in the last video, we talked about teleporters, but let's talk about like ambushes. So you go in a room and then something happens and all of a sudden all these bad guys start teleporting into that room. How do you go about doing that? Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's go ahead and just use this room up here as an example. So I'll move my mouse cursor over here. I'll hit uh, the apostrophe key and then tab. So we got this, the red brick room. It's got a teleporter where I teleport in. And um, let's just go ahead and create a few invisible sectors. So I'm gonna hit V to go into vertices mode. Actually, let's just go S and I'll just hit, uh, yeah, no, V. Da, da, da. So I'm hitting space bar. There's a sector. There's a sector. There's a sector. And we'll put another one here, I guess. We'll go into sector mode and we'll give each one of those a fresh tag number. So we started at four, five, six, and seven. And let's go ahead and put in our teleporter fog here. So fog, boom. So, okay. We want bad guys teleporting. And again, you don't see these sectors. You can see in the preview here where the teleporters are, but they're just gonna start teleporting into this room. Uh, but how do you get, you, you don't want them in there already. You wanna wait until something triggers them to come. So. What we're going to do here is create a separate little room over here. So again, I'm gonna go V to go into vertices mode, and I am just going to create a sector here. And this is going to hold your bad guys. So let me go ahead and just go in here to things, and I will add a monster, and I will add some imps like so. I'll just select them, control C, control V, just place a bunch of them in there. Well, now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to draw this line. I'm gonna choose that line and I'm gonna give a tag of four and I am going to choose to teleport repeat. So now when those imps walk through that line, they should be teleported to, as you can see, this one that's highlighted pink right now. So here's the thing though, they're just sitting there idle. How do you get them moving? Well, what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna go vertices and I'm going to add in an extra little sector here. So now you can see them down there, but of course we don't want this hallway here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose this sector and we're gonna put the ceiling height to just something like one. This is one way of doing this. So it's right there, let's go ahead and L and shift A to align our textures. So it's hard to tell, let me move my camera down, but there is a little crack under there. You can see a little sector that those imps are on the other side of. So now when I go in that room and I make a noise, they're gonna start trying to walk to me through that sector and hopefully be teleported when they walk through the sector. Now only one can walk through at a time. So they might be walking back and forth for a while, but let's go ahead. Control S, Control T to save and test. I will come into here. I can shoot this guy, not a problem. Oh, he just teleported into here. And now I'm in here. They're not in here, but as soon as I make a noise, all of a sudden they start teleporting in through that teleporter. That's great, but they're all coming in through that one teleporter. So how can I make it so that they're teleporting in through different teleporters. I could put different uh, lines around the room here. Thing is, but they're all gonna, should be trying to come to me this way. So they're all gonna be walking to the left. So all I have to do is um, come in here. Whoops, let's undo that. Uh, and in vertices mode, left click, left click, left click. Let's go ahead and now I can choose these lines and I can choose that one give it a sector of five, 
choose this one, give it a sector of six, making sure to click add that box so that's saved, and sector seven. So now, what I can do is I could come this way, kill this guy, maybe, nope, he teleported before I finished him off. But when I come in here and I shoot once and I make a sound, now they're teleporting in through all four of those sectors, depending on just their random walking. So, you know, more might come in through one teleporter than the other. And so now we got a bunch of bad guys ambushing us, just teleporting in. But let's say you wanted that to happen, let's say, when a, you flip a switch. Maybe you flip a switch and they all start coming in. So what you can do is you can put a wall between them and when you flip that switch, so let's say, let me really quick here, create a whole nother little room over here, a whole nother sector. And I'm gonna choose this sector here. I'm gonna give it a fresh tag of eight. And if we're in here, you can see, oh, let me just go ahead and there we go. So there's that sector, uh, actually two sectors. And I'm gonna put the floor up so it's like that. Okay, so we have this wall here. And I want a switch that opens that, that wall up for me. But at the same time, when I flip that switch, I want these bad guys to come and get me. So what I can do, first of all, let's create the switch. So I'll create a little sector here. And I will start lifting that up. And I will go to line mode. And again, we went over all this sort of thing in previous videos. But I'm going to go ahead and look at my switch textures. I'm going to choose uh, this one, maybe. There we go. So we have this little switch here. I'm going to give it, match it with a sector of 8. So now you can see when that line is highlighted, so is that sector. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose to uh, floor lower switch once. Let's go ahead and go in here. And now I flip this switch and that wall lowers. That does not make the bad guys come. They come when I shoot, okay? So what I want to do is come in here, create a whole new sector right here. Oops, went a little too far on that. Things, let's make sure all my bad guys are on this side. I'm gonna choose this sector here. Let's go ahead and move my 3D view in here. And move that wall up. Now there's different ways I can do this. If I put the wall all the way up, they won't be able to hear me till I lower that wall, which maybe is what I want. But if I want them teleporting in, as soon as I flip that switch, I want them to hear me before that. So I'm gonna put it up so that they can't get past it. In fact, I'm only gonna put it up this high, that way it lowers a little faster. And if I give that sector, sector eight, just as we did before. Now, when I flip that switch, both this wall and that wall will lower and the bad guys will be able to teleport over. So, let's go ahead and do that. Now at this point, if I flip that switch, both walls were lower, but they won't start moving until they hear me so I can and you hear them, well you probably didn't hear them because I'm not recording the sound from the computer, but you can hear them now, they've, they've been alerted. And now when I flip this switch, oh, they all start coming in. So they can't come in until that wall is lowered. So that's one way, but again, I had to come in there and shoot. So different things you can do, I can put a bad guy in here. So I can go things and put a guy in here so that I shoot when I walk in there. You could also maybe do something like connected to a previous room. So let's say I don't want any bad guys in there. Let's say I want to leave that room as is. I can always, doesn't even need to be that big. That's actually kind of large, but we'll take this and we will set its ceiling to one. So same as the other thing, but now <clears throat> let's go ahead and move over here. So it's right there. And you can hide this better with your design because that is lifted up a little bit. Uh, again, I can go now and try to align my textures a little bit better, make it hidden a little bit better. And let's go ahead and make this guy face me right here. And in fact, I'm gonna get rid of 
that whole sector right there. Just make it a little pillar. Actually, let's not do that. Let's go lines and delete it that way. Okay, so now when I'm playing the game, I can come in, I'm sort of shooting at this guy. I just woke up all those bad guys already. So I can come in here, flip this switch. Oh, and they all start teleporting in. So I alerted them earlier in level, and that could be something you, you alert them, you know, at the very beginning of the game uh, for a room much further down the line. But those are ways to create ambushes in that aspect. And of course, they followed me through the teleporter. Uh, anyway, that is one type of ambush, and it is definitely very useful for, you know, ambushing the player. I do thank you for watching. Again, this video is part of a series. I'm going to do a few more on using Eureka Doom Editor. And as always, you can visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. I got a whole bunch of videos on um, software, uh, software development, and software program design, stuff like that. Hundreds, thousands of videos. You can search through at filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. Link in the description of the video. I also have previous videos on Doom and actually editing the source code you might want to look at. But I do thank you for watching, and as always, I hope that you have a great day.